why don't we pop this bad boy over to the side and get out something new. Oops. Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Alex here and welcome to a little crazy video I thought I'd do. So, there is a challenge called the No Thumbs Challenge and here I have some duct tape to give myself no thumbs because I'm going to be wrapping it around and I'm going to see how difficult it is to do some very simple tasks using said uh, tape around my thumbs. So, let's get taping. Alright, so, the things that I have to do for this video is play Jenga, uh, solve a side of a Rubik's Cube and make a house of cards. Those are going to be very tricky things to do with no thumbs. So, already I'm struggling a bit. Wait, how am I going to do my other hand if I can't use my thumbs? Oh, um, how am I going to do that? Let's, let's, let's worry about that in a sec, okay? And then we do the other hand, so let's get wrapping on that one. Great stuff. We love wrapping presents and of course wrapping thumbs. Very fun. How do I... Okay, uh, ah! We are <laughs> essentially thumbless now. Um, let's just tuck my thumbs down. Great, there we go. I'm all fingers now. So why don't we begin with the first challenge, which is over here. Let me slide it in carefully and welcome everyone to Jenga. So I must take off 10 pieces and place them on the top here. So let's see how we do with that. Starting with the first one, this one here. Oh, it's easy. How do I... Okay. Oh, it's a bit easier than I thought, actually. Well, I guess we're starting off simple then with Jenga, because all you really need is one finger, and just like that, you should be good. There we go. Lovely stuff. Let's adjust those. Right. Let's do another one. <laughs> Let's try to go for a difficult one. One on the side, perhaps. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, there's one. Um, okay, careful. So I shake a lot anyway, and playing Jenga, usually very difficult for me because I'm always like, oh, but now I seem to be pretty, pretty fine. Oh, look, there's another one. Can I get it with one hand? I sure can. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so I've done so far four. Uh, oh, that's handy, isn't it? Four. No longer have five fingers, I have four fingers. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a lovely one right there. That means that if I get this out, which is being a little bit of trouble actually. Oh no, we're good. Boom, pop that on top. We're halfway there to completing our Jenga challenge of the video. So guys, if you're enjoying this, make sure you smash that subscribe button to watch other crazy things like No Thumbs Challenge. And if you have any other ideas of challenges, videos, games to play, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely check them out. So there's six, we have four more. Here we go, beautiful. I dropped it, thank gosh it wasn't the whole tower collapsing. Right, this one. Ooh, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Okay, it's getting a bit wobbly now, so I must be careful. Okay, we're gonna take this one out. It's not too difficult actually, my chin just touched the thing. That could have been a disaster. Everything could have come crashing down. <gasps> but we've now done nine, which means the final piece must come out. Can I get it from the bottom? I sure can. Congratulations to me! I did it without knocking over the Jenga tower with no thumbs. Pretty good, hey? Well, why don't we pop this bad boy over to the side and get out something new? Oops, let me just swipe all this over there. Lovely, right. Now, let's begin with another challenging thing, Rubik's Cube. I have to complete now one side of a Rubik's Cube. I'm gonna go for the color, we'll do blue, sure. So the, already this is really tricky to do with just fingers. Um, can see why you'd need a thumb, or more than one thumb, but it's okay, it's okay, I should be able to do it fine. Right, blue, side blue. So um, I've never really known how to solve a Rubik's Cube completely, but I can do one side completely fine. So I'm gonna try and do blue here. Um, I'm concentrating too much about not using my thumbs that I'm having a real, real hard time thinking about how I'm gonna get some blues on there. Ah, okay, so here's a blue one. I'm gonna add a blue one just here. If I can do it without turning the, <laughs> turning the thing so much. Turn, there we go. Oh, no, okay, okay, right, yep, yep, turn up there. Oh, good stuff. Now we have less blues than when we started. But yellow seems to be doing fine, actually. <laughs> Another blue one we can add by doing this and then this. Oh, careful. I don't want to slide the whole thing and just destroy everything. Careful. There we go, look, I only need two more blues. Oh, well, there's another one down there. That's easy to get to, so I'll slide this up, slide this across, and slide that down. Wonderful, 
We now have just one left to do. Oh, oh, I touched it with my thumb then. Shouldn't do that. Okay, blue is there. We need to get it onto the top. Uh, how do I do that? I need to spin this around. <laughs> it's really hard to keep it all aligned. I'm scared it's gonna explode. I just turn this sideways. Then we lift up, we lift down, and we turn back and uh, if, if it doesn't die on me, hooray! A blue Rubik's Cube side. I've done it. Wow. So we did Jenga. It did fall over, but that was after we did the challenge. So don't fret about that. But we did a Rubik's Cube too. A blue side on that. Pretty wonderful. But now it is time for the hardest challenge I am yet to face right now. It is a pack of playing cards because I am going to try and make a house of cards using only my fingers. This is going to get tricky. So I'm going to try and do three on the bottom, two, and then one. We're gonna see how well I do with that. Don't know if I'll do very good at all, honestly. I think I'll probably do very bad, but hopefully I can, if I can even get the cards out of the box. There we go, lovely stuff. So, I wonder what this, if this is what it feels like to be a pirate. If I just go like this, I can act like I have hooks for fingers. So, we need to get two cards out. If you've never done a house of cards, pretty tricky. You have to balance them perfectly together with one another so that they don't fall over. I'm shaking a lot, this is not going to work well. Okay, careful, careful, please, 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 please. This seems good, this seems, I don't even know if these can be made to do house of card cards. There, there is one, and I'm talking over this way, so I don't knock it over with air. Okay, two more, oh boy. Uh, this isn't going to work, it's also slightly wonky. Careful, careful, I can do it, oh boy. Oh boy, it's, it's resting on the other two. They're not resting together, it's not working. Okay, come on. Come on, you can do it. You just have to balance very care- No! They fell! Oh, okay. Right, we'll try again. Come on, yep, yeah, no. Oh, it's, this is too difficult to do without any thumbs. I don't think I can do it. I don't think that I can make a house of cards with no thumbs. It's just not possible. It just isn't happening right now. Pyramid, please. <gasps> no, no, no. Hopefully I can do it. I, at least, at least do one. Okay, let's try a different one. Yeah, here we go, here we go. This is good. Okay, if I can only get, no! I can't do it, it's too difficult. Right, now I need to get this off. Ah! Okay, um, that's now covered in lots of tiny hairs from the back of my hand. Now I'm gonna see if I can make a house of cards using just my normal hands completely fine. Because if I can, then we know that it's uh, all down to the thumbs. And I think it is, because that was easy to put up. We're gonna do another one now, right next to it. Oh, I just I just put my hand on top of the, the other two, so it's gonna fall right, okay. Seems like I'm pretty poopy at this. So guys, thank you for joining me today. Clearly, I was pretty good at Jenga and Rubik's Cube, but when it came to making a house of cards, something very delicate, I failed massively. So if you enjoyed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, until next time, it's bye-bye from me.